Hello, and welcome to another Fierce Pointer. Today we are going to go over a kick swing on the rings and getting those hips up nice and high in the front. I like to call it a hip to ring kick swing. Say that five times fast. Let me know how you do. And then give this a try. So obviously you're gonna jump up. You're going from that hop, nice hollow position to an arch back to the hollow and work on getting our hips up nice and close to the ring. We are gonna bend our arms a little bit at the top just to pretend like we're getting in the beginning stages of doing a muscle up. So it's that basic green kick swing. But the second time we come forward, you're gonna bring your hips up nice and high so that they come close to getting the ring. I want you to stay in a hollow position the whole time. You, are, you will pop your hips a little bit at the top, but I want a hollow position the whole time. You can keep, choose to keep your legs straight or you can bend your knees. It's up to you, personal preference. For the drill, I usually just keep my legs straight. Some people like to practice bending their knees so that it's similar to when they end up going to do a muscle up. So, what does it look like? We are going to jump up, hollow, arch, hollow, pulling ourselves up to the top of the ring. So, jump up, hollow, arch, hollow, pull, pull. So, I like doing these just because it really focuses on getting those hips up to the ring. If you can get your hips up higher, the transition is gonna be a little bit easier to get up and over the rings. This also just helps you to teach how to like use your hips during the muscle up just to pop those hips open. You need that nice, big, tight hip swing. Once you stay nice and tight during it, especially in that arch position, then you're coming to a hollow and then using your hips. So one more time, hollow, arch, hollow, Just so we can get used to being a little more vertical as, I mean, not vertical, for horizontal. If you're vertical, you're doing a pull up. We need to be a little more horizontal for doing that muscle up, especially when you're pulling yourself back and then we will eventually sit up and over. But you need to be a little more horizontal so that we can pull those rings low, lower than you would for a traditional uh, vertical pull up. So use those hips to rings just to try and get your hips closer to the rings. So like I said, once those hips come up, then you can sit up and over so that you are on top of the rings. The more we can use our hips to generate that upward force, the better it's gonna be for your muscle ups. A lot of competitions have muscle ups. The more efficient you are in your giving muscle up, the better you're gonna do because either you're gonna get more reps, you're gonna do them a little faster, you're not gonna be fatigued by the time you finish. So the better you are at those muscle ups, the better you're gonna do in workouts. And let's face it, a lot of competitions and the open and a lot of qualifiers all have muscle ups. Plus, if you have it in your box and you want to be able to do a muscle up, not everyone can. Actually, a lot of people can. So, if you can do a muscle up, then you're ahead of a lot of people already. So, give this drill a try. Give this drill a try and let me know how it goes. Focus on that nice big kick swing and really getting those hips up nice and high with a little pull from your arms at the top. So give it a try and let me know how it goes.